Okay, so hey everybody, welcome back. I'm gonna be playing some Dangan Rumpa today now. Now that I've finished Gregory, so that was a lot of fun. And yeah, sorry, my, my, my brain just went dead there for a second. So yeah, gotta play some more Dangan Rumpa and find out what's going on in the school. And try and find a way to survive. So let's jump in. Yeah. Okay. I guess we go out for a little while. Uh, no? We don't leave the room? Uh, I'm confused. Oh. It's gone. She, she really is gone. It's almost like there was never anything there to begin with. Every last sign of Sayaka's existence has disappeared without a trace. It's just like you said. After the class trial, before we took the elevator back up, Monokuma told us. Uh -huh. Oh, I almost forgot. Since the class trial is over, I'll go ahead and dispose of all the corpses. What are you gonna do? It's okay, no need to thank me. Just seeing your delighted smiling faces is thanks enough for me. After all, nobody wants to look at a rotten corpse every day. That can't be good for your health. <laughs> really not the same to be laughing, Monokuma. I didn't even have time to mourn Sayaka and Junko's deaths. I'm sure that's exactly why he did it. It's a bad joke, a sickening dream, but I have to accept the reality of, of it all. I headed back to the dining hall to meet up with the others. Let's see what they think. Sorry I'm late. So, um... Hey, are you okay, Mikado? Listen to me! You should took your sweet time. I was just about to go and get you and drag you back here. Sorry. Mm. So, what happened? Was your room fixed up like you said? <laughs> I imagine it'd be pretty hard to sleep with a rotten corpse in your bathroom. Hey, come on! Oh, damn. Jesus, that's fucked up, man. Why would you say something like that? My room was spotless. There wasn't anything left. Like, the whole thing never happened. I see. It must be tough staying there, knowing what happened. Why don't you just stay in Sayaka's room? Well, staying there with her scent still hanging in the air, that would hurt just as much. Plus, I've decided that I can't turn away from her death. Mm. Makoto? Um, hey, cheer up. Getting depressed isn't going to help anything, right? If we all work together, I'm sure we'll find a way out of here. You got it! So everyone just try and cheer up and get back on track. Hmm. Is that honestly supposed to make us feel better? We were already working together and yet someone was still murdered. Anyone could betray us at this point. Now that it's happened once, it's a question of when, not if, the next one takes place. <laughs> yeah, because Saika made the first move. Well... Oh. But if we work together against the mastermind, nobody will have any reason to do something like that. Stop talking. Keep telling yourself that. I'll be over here in the real world. Working together, fighting a common enemy, if, like it or not, it's not that simple. Mm. Uh, what do you mean? Are you okay with this? The mastermind, se the mastermind seems to be much more powerful than we ever expected. They took over Hope's Peak, which was supposed to be well defended, then modified it to fit the design. They created Monokuma, which seems to be incredibly advanced, and they're providing for our every need. And the cherry on top is the execution we witnessed. Honestly. Everything has been planned down to the last excruciating detail. This is not the work of your everyday psychopath. <clears throat> to find them may be too great of a risk. So then. <clears throat> then what are we supposed to do? Anyone who truly does want to escape will just have to follow the rules. In which case, the only option is to deceive those around you and win the game. No. No. What? No what? I, I can't take it. I don't want to live if it means killing someone else to do it. I don't want to kill anyone else. Huh? Anyone else? What do you mean? It's because... Leon died because we all voted for him, right? It's no different from us killing him ourselves. But... So, um... If we hadn't voted for him, then we all would have died instead, right? That isn't what you wanted, is it? So it's... She's right. If you heap that kind of flame on yourself, you'll turn into a full-fledged masochist. 
to hear or listen. You're not to blame. Not you, not Leon, and not Sayaka. The mastermind is responsible for everything that's happened. We had no choice but to vote. I can't even imagine what would happen to us if we refused. And in the end it was Monica who had ultimately killed Leon. So don't waste your anger on yourself. Instead, direct it at the mastermind. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. An entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Oh, and one other thing. It was totally obvious before that you were trying to make yourselves feel better and justify what you did. See you, see you, don't see you, see you. That's about how much I can see you even when you try to hide. Now pay attention and remember this well. The burden of judging others is a heavy one to bear. So be well aware of your actions. Order and stability rely on the sacrifice and responsibility of everyone. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug bite. Thanks, Monokuma. Yeah. What, what was that about just now? Uh. Was he saying it's our fault what happened? That's pretty cruel, man. Don't fuck with me. That piece of shit, who does he think he is? And so the day drew to a close. A tense, maddening day that saw the deaths of three classmates. Sayaka, Junko and Leon. But this is just the beginning. Our despair has only just begun. I woke up the next day to Monokuma's normal announcement, then he called us all to the gym. What's he going to do to us this time? We were practically frozen with fear, but Monokuma was determined to get us involved in his little game. And with that goal in mind, he began it. Okay, lift your arms up and down. Oh, it's okay, Sophie. Honestly, you didn't miss much, and... I'm uploading all of the Gregory series to YouTube as soon as um as soon as my dear tech master here edits it because I am clueless when it comes to this sort of thing. So don't worry, it'll all be going to YouTube. How are you, my dear? Teddy bear murder spree? Uh well so far we had in the last stream we had the class trial for Sayaka's death. Um, in this one, we've just literally just started this, so you haven't missed anything at all. It's like, literally two minutes maybe. So, okay, lift your arms up and down. One, two, three, four. Yeah, summer is a pain in the arse. I've got the fan on. One, two, three, four. Oh. Now reach way up and bend way down. Tighten those muscles. Let's add a little strength, a little speed to those young bodies of yours. <sighs> ah, doesn't this just feel great being stuck inside like this? You gotta make sure to stay healthy. <laughs> You're the one keeping us stuck inside. <laughs> Don't sweat the small stuff, that's my motto. Whoa, I sounded pretty cool just now, don't you think? Did you fall in love with me? Am I just to die for? Am I just to die in writhing agony for? Not really. Mm. So, why did you call us here? Certainly it wasn't just to make us exercise. Just to make you exercise? Just to make you exercise? Hey. If exercise makes you laugh, exercise will make you cry. Now, if you keep doing those exercises, you will uncover the secret of the Assassin's Fist. Passed down from generation to generation in the Empire of Darkness, that power can be yours. Hmm? That sounds like the kind of that sounds like the kind of junk a middle schooler would come up with. It doesn't matter, just get to the point. Did you really call us down here just to exercise? Hey, um Of course not, you think I have that kind of free time on my hands? 
Okay, so then... Hmm. Ah, I'd like to make an announcement. Every time you overcome a class trial here at Hope's Peak, a whole new world will open up to you. What the heck? A whole new world? You guys? It'd really suck if you had to live here forever with nothing new to stimulate you. Besides, I know how you kids get these days with your ADD and ADHD. I gotta keep you motivated. Very nice. So go ahead, look around all you want, enjoy the brave new post trial world to explode. With that, Monokuma disappeared, leaving us even more confused than when he'd shown up. But. A new world? Could it be? Is he talking about a way to go outside? I highly I doubt it. About that. that seems unlikely. Piece of shit! Well, we don't know till we look. Hey. Whatever he meant, it means we'll have to search the school one more time. You hear me? Okay then, let's split up and start investigating. When you're done, everyone will meet back up at the dining hall and we'll share what we found. <laughs> you're basically a one trick pony, you know that? Got it. More like a stable food source. A, a staple food source. Now let's get moving. Seeing his words as their signal, everyone scattered and left the gym. Okay. Uh, hey. What the heck? Hey, Makoto, did you see what's inside the display case? Bad, this is super bad, man. What are you talking about? I didn't notice anything all that weird in there. Mm. Sure, to the untrained eye, it's nothing, but this is awful. A bad, awful, terrible trap. For serious. That stuff you see lined up there? Any god could come by and use it to send a message. Huh? Uh, ah, I've been struck with knowledge. Is it the omen of to this devastation and ruin? Let me out of here! Let me out! I have no idea what he's talking about, so maybe I'll just leave him alone. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Yes, the hero. I'm crazy. Anyway. Oh, hi. Hey, Taka. Makoto, look. They keep walking the stairs is gone. It would seem a path to the second floor has opened up. You hear me? But it's also of utmost importance to double check the areas we already know about just in case. Without a doubt. I'm not so clever to think of that. I really impress myself sometimes. Uh huh. Well, I'll leave the school to you. That's. Thank you. Yeah, everyone's angry and in intense and. I'm losing it slowly but surely. The gate that's walking the stairs has been opened. Is this what Monokuma meant by a new world? If so, what's up there? Let's find out. <clears throat> This is the second floor of the school. Maybe there's some kind of clue here. Yeah, I'm sure of it. There's got to be something here. Okay, there's another blocked entrance. Uh, there's toilet and uh, classroom. Let's check out the classroom. Oh, there's Sakura. I see. This must be what he meant by a new world. I should probably take a really close look around. You do that. Okay. I guess I shouldn't be surprised, but on the second floor too, the windows here have the same metal plates covering them. Yay, we got a coin! A surveillance camera, they're watching every single move we make. The baby's sleeping, please be quiet. This is one of the monitors Monokuma appears on. Right now it's just showing the school press. If I break it, Monokuma might come and punish me. Probably. Right. Out of here. Um. Down here, I guess. There's a library there. Better check that one out. Oh, everyone's in here. Um, it looks like a laptop. The laptop looks pretty old and it's all covered in dust. So It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier but nothing happened. It's broken, huh? Too bad. I was hoping I could use it to go online and see what's going on in the outside world. If it's broken, there's nothing I can really do about it. 
It's remarkably dusty in here and the lighting is less than ideal. For a library, it's not the kind of place I'd want to do much reading in. Uh, right, that's a ladder, I think. The shelf is covered in dust, but on the shelf is a letter. What's this? Hope's Peak Academy? Indeed. It was buried under a thick layer of dust. It must have been sitting there for quite a while. Well, shall we see what's inside? But we shouldn't read other people's mail without permission. Is that right? What we shouldn't do is leave this here without finding out what's inside. Oh, okay. <laughs> I broke the seal on the dusty envelope and pulled out the single sheet of paper I found inside. I unfolded the paper and read what was written there. Excuse me. From the Hope Speak Academy Executive Office. Throughout the years we have been committed to shaping the youth who will one day shape the world. We have a long proud history as an institution of higher learning with full governmental support. Our graduates enter society ready to take on active leadership roles in every major job field. However, Hope Seek Academy must now lower the curtain on its glorious history for the time being. The decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. But make no mistake, this is not the end for Hope Seek Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forced enough closure have been resolved. That being said, this is the end for now, and I would like to personally and sincerely thank everyone for your help and support over the years. For now, we are awaiting official government governmental authorization to formally cease operations. <clears throat> what does this mean? Hmm. hmm, the contents of this letter are quite interesting indeed. It would seem... It would seem Holmes Peak have... Holmes Peak have... Oh my god, my eyes. It would seem Hope's Peak had stopped functioning as a school. And judging by the amount of dust the letter had collected, it doesn't seem to have happened recently. If I had to guess, I'd say this letter could be at least a year old. So you're saying Hope's Peak closed down at least a year ago? Most likely the mastermind took over the abandoned school in order to put on this little performance. But that would mean it was closed when I got here just a few days ago. But I didn't get that sense at all. Plus, the, plus if the school had shut down, don't you think it would be in all the newspapers and stuff? I mean, you're saying it could have happened over a year ago, right? But before I got here, I looked stuff up, looked stuff up online and... And the school, I never saw anything about this. So in other words... That must have been all part of the Mastermind's plan. They lured us all in here. Someone who could create a place to judge and execute people could potentially be capable of anything. Hmm. Of course, that's all assuming that this letter is real. However... If it is real though, that does have one, mon one mystery surrounding the school. The reason there are no other students here could be because the school had already closed down. Hmm. <clears throat> That would be a nice simple solution, it's true. But then what about this other part? This decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. But make no mistake, this is not the end for Hope's Peak Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forced on closure have been resolved. What did they mean by serious issues? That's apparently why the school had to close. Is there any connection between that and what's happening to us now? No. If... if the two events are in fact connected, uncovering that connection would be a useful clue on top of figuring out the mastermind's motive. Although I can't really say any more until we find more details. Hmm. So in other words, only the mastermind knows the truth right now. The mastermind's motive. If we could figure out why they'd want to imprison us all here, will that be enough to get us out of here? Or... Who knows? Right. Let's have a chapter one. Hey. I'm absolutely shocked. How come? Damnation. They have all these books here and not one copy of any of my works. Well, yeah, why would they have comics in a library? <laughs> Plus, most fanfic is just porn drawn by a bunch of amateurs. 
You just don't get it. Not at all. <laughs> I do too get it. And with a face like yours, anyone can tell nothing you do is worthwhile. Wow. Say whatever you want about me, but never judge a book by its author. Now hear this. Appearances mean nothing at all. What you see before you is nothing more than the rind that covers... That contains the meaty pulp of my genius. Here we go. My creations are what determine my meaning and value. <laughs> You're so full of it. Mm hmm. Hm. I'm being used to. I'm used to being misunderstood. You think weak attacks like yours will drop my HP? <laughs> God, those two really worry me. Tell me about it. The shelf is packed tight with books, but looking at it, the whole thing is incredibly dusty. It looks like this library has been neglected for a pretty long time. Even though it's, if it's a prestigious high school, they've been pretty careless about keeping it nice. Hmm. But still, this library is most interesting. Huh? What's interesting about it? Stop talking. Oh, nothing. I was just thinking out loud. Okay. Weirdo. There's a thick layer of dust on top of the desk, and it looks like this library has been neglected for a pretty long time. As nice as the school itself is, whoever in charge of upkeep has been pretty lazy. Strange. You must be pretty happy to have all these books around, huh, Toko? N not particularly. Nothing's really caught my attention so far. Indeed, there's a plethora of books, it's true, but the content seems lacking. You know nothing. Where's the comic books? Where's the young adult section? Huh? Comic books? Young adult? That's not a waste of time. Hmm. Hmm. I have to see what you write, Miss Fukawa. Hmm. Uh, talented as you are, your stuff isn't any more worthwhile. What the heck? My stories are filled with true love and pure feelings. Don't compare them to that garbage of yours. Your writing doesn't even mean anything. It's just a bunch of jumbled up letters. Someone should just burn it all. <laughs> Ooh, the lady doth protest too much, methinks. I bet you're secretly into boy-on-boy -boy action. <laughs> what? Boy-on-boy? -boy? I don't care if it's, a, if it's anime or comics or fanfic or whatever. Uh, I'm telling you. It's all filth. Throwaway culture that we trashed and forgotten in half a decade. Yeah. Ugh, just talking about it makes me sick to my stomach. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> Grr, you've insulted me and you've insulted my honour. Those two are really starting to freak me out. I've never seen anything like it. That is very true. They are, they are crazy. What's behind this door? It's some kind of archive. All I saw in there was stacks of old books and files. I can't imagine what business you would have in there. That's true. I don't really have any reason to check it out. Okay. Let's get out of here. See what else is around. Oh, another classroom. Okay, so there's nothing really in here. But empty. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Yep, same thing. Maybe we're not allowed to break them, but what about blocking them so they can't see anything? Nope, still not brave enough to try it. I know it's pointless, but I can't stop looking at the clock. Oh, sugar. It's force of habit, I guess, even though it's it just leaves me with this empty feeling. Okay, I think we've checked everything up here, so... Better go back to the dining room and see everybody. So I don't think there's anything else up here. Uh... Not just a random empty hallway and the toilets, but I don't think we should go in there, but uh, I'll check it anyway, just to see I've done it. Yep. This is where the bathroom cleaning supplies are stored. I don't see anything useful in here. Okay, to the dining room. Is 
Because I think that's everything I've seen upstairs. Oh, hey. Yo. I went and checked the metal hatch in the main hall just to be sure about. Shit. Just like I figured, it hasn't moved an inch. Shit. Yeah, I'd be surprised if you made things that easy for us. Hey, damn it. Hey. What? Don't make that face. You look like a pussy. You want me to put some fighting spirit in you? Well, do you? No thanks, I think I've got enough for now. Yo. Well, okay, I'm gonna look for another way out then. Okay, thanks for that. I should look around the school first. Um, I need to find out what Monica meant by a new world. I think I've seen it though, I've seen it all upstairs. Do I need to speak to everyone again? Yeah, the sink open on this floor. Uh, on this floor? Mm -hmm. Nurse stuff is open. It's on the next floor, yeah? But I think I've seen it in there. The girls' bathroom, the boys' bathroom. Have you come here? Huh? No, no. Have you come to the um, swimming pool? Is it up here? Yeah. Behind you. That's the start. Go back to the stairs. Oh god. Hold on a sec. Um. Oh. What? Oh. Cute. <laughs> I thought that was these stuff? Oh yeah. I always miss that bit. So check out the pool. Just a second. Oh Makoto, hey guess what? Guess what I found? A pool! There's a pool here! A pool! 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 You'd have to keep repeating okay. I got it. And there's a ton of exercise equipment in the locker room. Sakura's gonna go nuts when she finds out. Yeah, you're right about that. Hina seems way more excited than usual. She didn't join that. She <laughs> Okay, let's chat to the ladies. Hey Chihiro, have you checked out the pool yet? Uh, um... No. I don't like wearing swimsuits. Yeah, you do seem like the tip who might not be into that kind of thing. But... But still, it sounds like the locker rooms here have all the exercise equipment you could ask for. Maybe I'll give it a try. I kind of like to get a little stronger. You want to get stronger? I have to say, that's kind of ex unexpected. Yeah. But I'm not even brave enough to step, step foot in the locker room. Huh? You don't even want to go in the locker room? Um, it's not that I don't want to, it's just... I don't get it, it's your afraid of locker rooms or something? That's a pretty weird phobia though. Uh, there are a bunch of different pool related items on the shelf. Yay, another coin. It looks like one of those lifesaver flotation donuts. And another coin, yay! See all the two masks that she has to save herself. <laughs> the second floor has opened up, the living area has grown, and a number of facilities are now available. Whatever else is going on, I must admit, I must admit things have been made much more comfortable for us. Do you understand? If things continue like this, the occasional class trial may, may not be so bad. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. I don't really want to have another class trial. The locker room's connected to a pool. It looks super nice and big and fantastic to swim in. Ah, I'm beyond excited right now. I can't wait to dive in. In fact, I'm getting kind of mad thinking about it. Why are you getting mad? <laughs> oh, there's a gun up here. Is that a real gun? It's not like we're at war here. Why would we need something like that here? The surveillance camera, even here, are being watched. Let's check out the locker rooms. Behind this door is the locker room? Yeah! Oh, and I guess you need your handbook to get into the locker rooms. Really? Of course! Really, really! Oh. Hmm. 
If you're in a local locker room, you'll have to swipe your personal e-handbook across the card reader next to the door. Uh -huh. However, to ensure maximum maximum security with each locker room, only a boy's handbook can open the boy's locker room, and the same goes for the girls. And that's the bottom line. What? Hmm, but what if someone opens the door and then someone else sneaks in? <gasps> Anyone who commits such indecency will be punished without mercy for the scandalous sexual depravity. See, there's a Gatling gun mounted on the ceiling, right? And it'll be all dugga 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 dugga. <laughs> just a second. I know she didn't laugh, but it's just. <laughs> I bet it really hurt to get shot by that thing. Um. Um. No, I think it'd be a little worse than that. Hmm. What happens if someone loans their handbook to someone else? A boy could borrow a girl's handbook, and that would get them to the girls' locker room, would it not? <gasps> That never even occurred to me to think someone could be so low, so cowardly, so devilish. Hmm, hmm okay then, how's the sound? I got it. Time for a new rule. As of this moment, loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. <laughs> there, so now nobody can give the handbook to anyone else, right? You like that? I'm kind of a genius, right? It's because my brain is 100% cotton. Oh. I do not imagine anyone would have lent their handbook out in the first place. Okay. After all, they would likely be held responsible for anything that for anything that person might do using the handbook. So, um, but you know, you seem awfully concerned with all this locker room security stuff. Of course. It's because all you teenagers are sex crazed maniacs. You're at that age you try humping a plastic bottle. <laughs> so to keep anything unseemly from happening, I have to maintain a rigorous watch. <laughs> Then in that case, I would ask you keep the same close eye on our dorms. If some man and some woman decided to share a room, there would be nothing to stop them. <laughs> All I care about is protecting the holy image of the school itself. Yes. I don't care what happens in your private dorms. By force or by cunning, do whatever you want. Just the worst. That sounds so bad. I hate you so much. Okay, so the new regulation is now in place. See ya! Man, that stupid bear totally ruined my mood. Maybe I'll go take a dip to cheer myself up. You got it! Celeste, do you really want to come with me? As for me. There's nothing I hate more than getting water on my face. Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'll pass this time. How come when you're in a the funk there's nothing better than a good swim to pull you out of it? I'm pretty sure the only place to you. Anyway, now I have a pretty good idea what's on the second floor. But I didn't see anything that might lead to any kind of exit or anything. All I can do now is hope someone else finds something worthwhile. Okay, I better head back to the dining hall as soon as possible. <laughs> Listen to me. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, how'd it go? Did anyone discover any anything? Oh my god. Did anyone discover anything? What am I doing? Did anyone discover any interesting new anything? Okay, wow, that was very... Yes, my brain. Indeed. There's a library. Okay. And a pool, a freaking pool and locker rooms filled with exercise equipment. Well. There was not, however, anything resembling an escape room. Yeah, she's right. I see. Well, hey, there's no reason to get all sulky. Wait till you hear, wait till you hear about my amazing discovery. Quiet down and listen. The warehouse, the bathhouse, on the first floor of the dorms are open. And the warehouse is chock full of food, clothes, whatever you want. There's so much of it, it's insane. <laughs> so go ahead and stuff yourself to the gills whenever you feel like. Are you okay with this? Keep in mind, of course, that going out at night time is still prohibited. Please do not forget. Yo. Okay, and what about a fucking way out of here? Are you finding anything like that? Oh, well, um... What? What? There wasn't anything in the warehouse we could use to get our asses out of here. Nothing. Unfortunately, no, not that I saw. Hey, come on! You fucking people! What? Who gives a shit if we have a goddamn pool now, or a warehouse, or whatever the fuck? Stop fucking around! We're still trapped in this piece of shit school. We need to find a goddamn way out. <laughs> now, now, there is no point in taking your anger out on us. Adaptation is the key. Yes. For now, we must each find a way to enjoy our current situation. You piece of. Whatever you say, you fucking loon. <laughs> For now, let's just continue our investigation and let everyone know if you should discover something. So then. 
So, are we done for today? Yeah. Well, well, yeah, I guess so. Oh. The air seems to suddenly go heavy again. Was this the mastermind's plan to give us hope, just to turn around and betray that hope? It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Okie dokie. We all promise not to leave our rooms during night time. There's not much else to do, I guess I'll just go to bed. Mr. Monokuma, Mr. Monokuma, do you have a second? I, I don't really like myself. I don't have any kind of skill or hobby. I can't say I'm super good at. My grades are totally average too. My reflexes are okay. Not great, not awful. I could get into a decent college where I'd make a few friends. Maybe even find a normal girlfriend. Which is exactly why I don't like who I am. I understand that now. My life is just one giant copy paste. I don't have any imagination and my perfectly average cardboard cut. You see what I mean, right, Mr. Monokuma? Oh. Call me out like that. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Oh, that's right! I wanted to let you know that your e-handbooks have been updated. New regulations have been added, so please take a look and enjoy your school life more than ever before! The new rule has been added to the regulations menu. Okie dokie. You must be referring to yesterday. Loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. But now I need to hurry up and head to breakfast. Right, let's head up to the dining hall. So welcome to stream. Hope you're doing okay. Morning, Makoto. Good morning. Is everyone here already? Yo, yo, yo. Nope, still waiting on Byakia and Taka. Byakia's no surprise, but it's strange Taka's not here yet. <laughs> Knowing Taka, I imagine he's trying to get the king of tardiness up out of bed. Mm. I'm sure they'll be here soon enough. Just be patient. Let's see. I don't mind waiting for them, but there is one problem, which is... I am thirsty. Hey, come on. How the hell is that a problem? <laughs> if you mean, would you make me some tea? Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> Milk tea, if you please. Well, but why me? Let's see. Your horrendous figure reminds me of the owner of the coffee shop I used to frequent. That's your reason. This is fine. I can feel my throat drain out quickly, please. Oh. Um. Okay. Apparently unable to refuse Celeste's order. Ifumi skulked his way into the kitchen, and a few minutes later... <laughs> Thank you for waiting. Ifumi reappeared with tray in hand, the gentle aroma growing stronger as he approached. <laughs> mm -hmm, finally. <laughs> you could have made some for the rest of us, you know. There's no way to think about this in a common sense kind of way. I emphatically decline, you're not my type at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's all about the law of casualty. Casuality. Basically, instinct, act, and react. Well, oh, thank you for the follow. I really appreciate that. Well then, if you don't mind. A small smile played against her lips as she held the teacup delicately in her hand. Oh. Wait. She cocked her head to the side. 
I threw the cup as hard as you could at the wall. What? What, what the? Hey, what are you doing, my little white rabbit? I hate this kind of tea. Uh, um, I don't understand. Yes, indeed. Imagine we're at a coffee shop, just any normal everyday cafe. I sit down and I order some tea. Then they ask me, would you like lemon or milk? Now further imagine that I replied, ah yes, I would like milk tea, please. In this case, along with my tea, they may bring me a small container of milk, yes? But this is not for me. I am, I am among those who prefer the milk to be part of the process from the outset. The fragrance is just so overwhelmingly sweet that way. Adding milk or lemon right before you drink is like dosing your fries and ketchup. Mere condiments. Whenever looking for a cafe, I first review their milk to see if it offers the proper style of milk tea. And I cannot acknowledge any milk tea that does not add the milk during the brewing process. If I had to describe our shared reaction to what we just heard, I'd have to go with wide-eyed bewilderment. Um, I went to all that tree... Oh, that tree, oh my god. I went to all that trouble to make you that tea and you wanted me to go even farther? Yes, yeah, so I realise it can be a bit of a hassle. Even in cafes that offer proper milk tea, it is always more, ex more expensive than simple tea with milk. It takes more time to prepare, surely, but... Why even bother creating a menu if you're not going to offer the highest level of, qual of quality? Well, um, we don't actually have a menu. You little bitch. Wow, she's crazy. That does not matter. Hurry up and bring me what I ask, what I ask for, Swain. Say what? What? Yeah. Oh, okay. Your little piggy will bring it right. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I do so love coercion. Huh? What do you mean? You were like a totally different person just now. Oh, shit. Yeah, shit. You really went psycho there. <laughs> I knew there was more to her when I first met her. I'd hate to have her as an enemy. Seriously, man, she's one scary chick. The dining hall doors flew open and one of the late arrivals came storming in. But... Bad news, everyone. There's there's a mystery afoot. Huh? What happened? It would seem Byakia refuses to leave his room. I stood there pressing his doorbell over and over, but he never showed himself. Maybe he just wasn't there. I think maybe... I'd like to think so, but I'm worried something might have happened to him. What he meant by that. He didn't have to say anything else. Everyone understood exactly what that might mean. It might be a good idea if we before split up and go look for him. Listen to me! Ah, I was just about to suggest, to suggest the same thing. What's your problem? Stop trying to one-up everyone. Um... Okay then, I'll go check his room one more time. I'm just going to keep on hammering that button until I get a response. Well then. Very well, then the rest of us can go check the rest of the building. Uh, um... Yeah, before it's, you know, too late. Anyway, we just have to do our best to find Byakuya. So where might Byakuya have gone? Maybe he went to check out the second floor of the school again. Celeste, aren't you going to help look for Byakuya? I have not had my tea yet. Huh? As for me. Until my first is satisfied, I have no urge to do anything. If you're in a hurry, feel free to motivate you for me to move faster. But okay. But aren't you being kind of selfish? I mean, she's right. She is being selfish. Then again, it's Biakio. Do we really care about him that much? Mm -hmm. Ah, Mr. Naegi, what's going on? Well, nobody's seen Byaki this morning, so we've all decided to go look for him. What? But what? That's not good at all. However, however, this little piggy needs to. I have a holy edict to deliver a proper milk tea, a proper milk tea to my master. Please. To bless this undeserving swain with such an honor, I will serve you with all my heart and soul. But uh, uh, okay, good luck with that. Yafumi's created some creepy alternate reality for, for himself. Okay, have fun, Yafumi. If that's your thing, you know. Right, um... Well, we can check out the library, it's where it was yesterday. Let's go look at Togo. Hey Togo, hanging out with Fina, huh? What's your problem? What, you got a problem with that? No. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Something may have happened, right? Being alone right now might not be safe. So you got scared and decided to stay close to Hina? I guess everyone has, has a softer side. 
As long as I'm with the sports idiot, if something does happen, I'm sure she'd jump in with it thinking and take the fall. Huh? What? The what? Were you eavesdropping? Awful, you're just awful. Get, get lost, you stray cat. Okay, wow, rude. Everyone's mean in this game. Hey, he know, you what? Nah, it's no use. I keep banging on his door and nothing. Come on already, open up. Careful, you're gonna bust down the door hitting this that hard. <laughs> Relax, this is nothing compared to what Sakura could do. Sakura's really awesome, you know, if you really wanted to. She could tear the store to shreds. I, I see. Well, she is the old school mom ultimate martial artist, she may actually be able to do it. Hmm. I've been knocking long enough. I think I can see for sure he's not here. I think you're right. Okay, I'm gonna go look around for him. Yeah. Okay, good luck. Right, let's go to the library and see if he's there. I have a feeling he's in there. Oh, hey, Chihiro. Oh hey Makoto. So did you find Bianca? Uh, I'm sorry. N no, I didn't see him anywhere. I see. But... Somehow Kyoko figured out where he might be. You huh. know? Kyoko's so amazing. She's so cool, she's smart and she seems really tough. She's definitely smart, that's for sure, but tough. Compared to say Sakura or even Hina, she doesn't seem all that different from Chihiro. Is it worth to compare them like that? Ah. Oh. Oh, don't cry. We'll be okay. So sweet. Love to hear. When I opened the door to the library and looked inside, I cried out in sudden surprise. Biakia? Of all the things I'd imagined, this most definitely wasn't hey, one of them. Uh, what are you doing? I'm fishing. What does it look like I'm doing? I'm trying to read, so if you could be quiet. Oh, sorry. Wait, no! What are you doing here? Everyone's super worried. We've all been looking for you. Who asked you to do that? Because we're all supposed to meet up in the morning and eat together. We made a promise. A promise? <sighs> Can't I get a second's peace and quiet around here? Bianca snapped his book shut and slowly stood up, smooth and silent as a shadow. Meanwhile, the others must have heard me yell and started showing up one after another. Yo! Biakia, so this is where you've been hiding. Uh, the heck are you doing here, man? Uh, we were very concerned. Hmm. Well, you had no reason to be. I was just reading. I've never read such a coarse novel before. Uh, but it might just prove useful at some point. Well, well, what were you reading? A mystery novel. Well, Wait, so are you going to use what you're learning in there to betray us? Hmm. Don't be stupid. Yeah. It's just something to keep in mind. Yeah, what? Naturally. If I decide to fight, of course, I'll come up with something original. Otherwise, this game of ours will be totally boring, right? <laughs> what? It's not often you get to take part in such a high stakes, high tension activity. So if you're going to do it, you have to make sure it's entertaining. Mm -hmm. His words sent a chill down my spine. There was an undeniable smile on his face as he spoke. He looked like he was actually enjoying himself. Enjoying this deranged killing game. Damn what the fuck do you mean game? That's fucked up. Hmm. But it is a game. It's a game of life or death which can only have one winner. That's all there is to it. <sighs> he is right. It's a zero sum game. Are you okay with this? It is a part of game theory, a mathematical model. In game theory, what we're going through now is called a zero sum game. In this type of game, in order for one person to gain something, another must necessarily lose something. In other words, it's a situation in which participants must compete for position or resources. I see. You mean like a kind of elimination match? Actually. Entrance exams, sports tournaments, job openings. Most social interactions fall into this category. Everyone must scramble to obtain something which is limited for you to succeed. Someone else must fail. Well, welcome back, John. 
This also applies to the school life we've been subjected to here. In this case, okay? our limited resource is that only one of us can successfully become the Black Knight. So in other words... So this game was designed from the beginning to force one of us to try and defeat all the others. So that can't be what they had in mind. <laughs> this is why adaptation is so crucial. If those who want to escape were to disappear, there would be no reason to continue playing the game. What? Why would I want to stop playing? It's so much fun. He smiled again as he spoke. The smile was filled with evil intent. It twisted his face into something not human. It sounds as if you do not acknowledge even the possibility that you may that you may lose, am I right? Naturally. Of course. <laughs> you do not speak like the others, exactly what I would expect from the Tagami heir apparent. Uh. It's just normal arrogance, isn't it? Just a second! You talk like that, but what if you end up dead? Not possible. I won't. It simply isn't possible. You son of a bitch! Who the fuck do you think you are? You know, I just still can't believe it. What? Believe what? <laughs> that an uneducated, brain-dead, useless piece of garbage like you has survived this long. Whoa! You are. Piece that is uncalled for. I'm gonna fucking kill you. Don't make me repeat myself. Like I said, I won't die. <sighs> you keep saying that, but do not bother arguing with him. For him, the concept of losing simply does not exist. He is the ultimate Afro -pro progeny after all. A boy raised to succeed from the day he was born. He considers victory his destiny and has lived his life accordingly. Tests and challenges are merely ways for him to stand victorious, even if it is a life and death situation. <laughs> is that not so, Bianca? <laughs> At least one of you seems to understand. Wonderful. It's because I am the same as you. Games are meant to be won. That's enough. Are you trying to suge suggest we're on the same level? Close that vulgar mouth of yours. Oh, wow. What a douche. Well, well, I do apologise. <laughs> anyway, let me just say this to all of you. You don't need to try harder if an opponent is going, isn't going to give it their best. Where's the fun for me? No. But that's a terrible way to look at it. What? Hmm? It's because... This isn't a game. Our lives are on the line, you know. Kill your own friends is... This is horrific. Friends? Who decided that? Huh? We're not friends. No, quite the opposite. We're in competition. We're enemies. But... But you know... What? But what? Stop trying to force your contradictions on me and just accept what I'm telling you. Um... Come on. Yes, if you have something to say, say it. Otherwise, keep your mouth closed. Uh, I'm sorry. Stop fucking around! Hey, shithead, you got up on bullying people that can't fight back? You want to try that on me? So you're back to pretending to be friends, huh? And how long do you think that's going to last? Piece of shit! <clears throat> Fuck you! What? Is that all you can see? <laughs> it's unfortunate you would waste your breath on such empty gibberish. You son of a bitch! That's it, you're fucking dead. Just a second! Hold on, just calm down. Piece of shit! I am calm. Oh. How is this calm? Hmm. Anyway, I don't have any intention of working with the rest of you any longer. To cooperate during an elimination game is... Well, frankly, it's a waste of time, and I hate wasting my time. Waste of time? Not possible. Engaging in friendly group meals is out of the question. Someone could easily poison our food. And I'd rather not become part of the Last Supper just yet. Dude, shit. Quit talking like you're in a fucking movie or something. Goodbye. All I'm saying is that ultimately, you're all free to do whatever you want on your own. Goodbye. Without a second glance back, Bianca left. There wasn't anything we could do to keep him from going. His way of thinking was just beyond anything the rest of us could even comprehend. But... Was he serious about all that? <laughs> he was, without a doubt. Don't fuck with me. Well, fuck him then. Maybe. But what he said, he may not necessarily be wrong. I mean, can you say for sure that someone won't poison our food? <laughs> hey, come on, you two, Toko. Anyway. Well, it's not like anyone will care even if I was gone, right? <laughs> Actually, I bet you'll want me gone. You, you'll think I'm disgusting. None of us think that. I'm telling you! You just think you don't think that. <sighs> I know some people like to play the victim, but this is just totally out there. You think I don't know, but I do. You want me gone. What the heck? And I'm sure the rest of you want the same thing, don't you? Oh hey, talk away. <laughs> just let her go. Once she gets going like that, there's nothing you can say to bring her back.
Ultimately, ultimately, our breakfast meeting came to an end without answering any questions. Everyone headed back to their rooms.